Good morning and welcome friends. This is Dr. Mitesh Gala here, presently teaching in Campaign School. I just had an idea last night and I thought I should share it with you. I thought of starting an online teaching company. Yeah, exactly. Something which I can do online and teach online as well. But then I thought about what all departments will be needed. So the departments needed were basically like uh, the editing part, the video, someone to shoot, someone to text, marketing team, lots of stuff. And when I added the budget, the total budget for the online teaching company was 10 crore rupees. Now I am a small man, obviously I don't have that much of money. So what do I do? 10 crore rupees, can you imagine? So then I thought, why not go to the public and ask for the money? So public is what I went to and this is what I'm planning to do. So I need a total investment of rupees 10 crores and in order to invest 10 crores, I am dividing this into smaller subparts. So smaller subparts, I thought of rupees 100 each. So 10 crores divided by 100 gives me 10,000 subparts and these subunits I call it as share because basically the company which I want to start Okay, I want people to invest in that company and that investment which the people are going to do in return I am giving them a share of my company, a part of my company. Exactly that's what shares is. So I am just joking, I am not starting any company. Basically I am trying to teach you something called as shares. So the topic for today is shares and dividend. Now first thing on this slide if you see which we need to understand is about the total investment that is needed so the total investment needed is 10 crores and they we have divided into 100 rupees each subunit and when i divide the two that is total investment by subunit i can come to know that i need 10 lakh subunits or 10 lakh shares exactly that's the point is so i found my first investor mr amita he says that he wants to invest rupees 10 lakhs in my company so 100 rupees is one subunit so 10 lakhs divided by 100, let's see how many subunits Mr. Amitabh gets. So Mr. Amitabh is getting 10,000 subunits or you can say 10,000 shares. So Mr. Amitabh is now owner of 10,000 shares of my company. So everyone might buy in the market different amount of shares as per their capacity. Now here the most important thing which I want you to note is that the subunit which we call over here is basically in technical terms we, the first thing that we need to understand is the investment that Mr. Amitabh wants to make. So Mr. Amitabh wants to make 10 lakh rupees as the investment. Now when we divide this into 100 rupees each then the unit 100 rupee is called as face value or the other word is nominal value both mean one and the same. So you have to remember face value or the nominal value is the price at which the company is offering the shares. The price at which the company is offering its shares is the face value or the nominal value. Let's see what happens with Mr. Amitabh later. So right now are we clear with the face value and the nominal value? The second thing we also need to be clear is about the number of shares that is N which is equal to 10,000. Let's move forward. After a year, my company really worked very well. And since the company worked very well, company wants to distribute the profits to its shareholders. So the distribution rate that the company decided is 10%. And the technical term for that is dividend rate DR, which is 10%. So let's see how much Mr. Amitabh gained as per the 10%. So how will you calculate? So 10% so 10 by 100 into face value. Why face value? Because that is the price which the company has taken from Mr. Amita. So obviously Mr. Amita is going to give, uh, the company is going to give at the rate of the face value which the company has got into the number of shares that Mr. Amita has. So when we calculate the entire thing, Mr. Amita gets 1 lakh rupees straight away as annual income. This annual income is also called as dividend, also called as profit. All the three are one and the same. So you will see different terms in the note textbook once we start working on the solution sums. And the words that are used are dividend, annual income, profit. All three are one and the same. So you need to remember the second terminology which we need to remember. Do you remember the first terminology? Yeah, that was nominal value or face value. The second terminology, dividend, annual income, profit. Both are one and the, all three are one and the same. Let's move a little forward now. 
the formula will you remember annual income equals to dividend rate upon 100 into face value into number of shares face value is what the company has got number of shares is what you hold that is the shareholder holds after two more months now mr amitab needs money so he plans to sell all the shares and since the company is doing very well he gets the better price for the shares so let's see at what price mr amitab is selling these shares so finally he decides to sell and the selling price is rupees 140 so 140 rupees is what mr amitab is selling the shares this 140 is the market value now you need to remember what is market value market value is not the price that the company is giving to mr amitab remember amitab is not selling the shares to the company back he is selling it in the market to someone else who wants to buy the shares of this company now since he wants to buy the shares someone else and he thinks that the company is doing very well in that case he is offering a better price to mr amitab so how much price is he offering he is offering rupees 140 and mr amitab accepts it so let's see what is the total am amount that mr amitab gets so 140 into 10000 and he makes 14 lakhs 14 lakh rupees straight away let's see so the third terminology which we need to understand here is the market value or the selling price so we learned three things face value annual income also called as dividend or profit and the third one is the market value let's take this forward so what are the abbreviations that we learned till now number one investment which is inv number of shares n face value also called as nominal value fv dividend rate called as dr market value called as mv and finally annual income or dividend which we call it as ai now you let's understand these terms one by one once again quickly so that it is very clear in your head and when you are taking the sums from the textbook you can easily bifurcate them investment is the amount that the shareholder is investing number of shares is the number of shares that the shareholder receives on investing a particular amount nominal value or face value is the price at which the company is selling the shares at dividend rate is the profit that the company is distributing to the public in terms of some percent market value is the price at which the shares are being sold in the market by the shareholder to some another shareholder all right it is not company's involvement at all in this and the last one annual income or dividend or profit all three are one and the same which is what the company is giving to the shareholders we call it as ai now we learn few formulae here which we need to understand well two formulae we've already seen one is number of shares and second is annual income third thing we'll also learn the profit rate so three formulae we are going to learn let's see so the first one number of shares n is equal to the total investment divided by the market value or the face value so you have to look at the question at what price the shares have been sold second one annual income dividend profit equals to dividend rate by 100 into face value into number of shares now if i take the first and second equation together and if i merge them then you can see the third one coming up down instead of number of shares i have written investment upon market value that is the second formula only but an extended form another third one is the profit rate so how will i calculate the profit rate so profit rate is going to be profit multiplied by 100 upon the total investment so what is profit profit we've already calculated here can you see this this is the profit here which comes here into 100 upon the total investment that the shareholder is investing so we learned the abbreviations here and now we learned the formula so once we begin with the textbook which we are going to do right now i want you to take a screenshot of these two pages that is number one i'm keeping it here hold the video take a screenshot and this one hold the video take a screenshot put these two things on the softboard right now so once we start with the textbook it becomes with the sums it becomes very simple for you to pick up from there the formulae or the abbreviations and then move ahead guys trust me this topic is very simple about shares and you will have no issues now before we move on to the textbook a little bit of extra knowledge about shares uh, we understood the entire story we understood the terminologies that is required for the notebook a little bit for our general knowledge now shares is something which is basically a part of the company 
offered by the company to the shareholders when it is offering it is offering at at face value but later on what happens is these people once the company does brilliant these people take those shares and they start selling amongst themselves that is the time when people actually make profit where the company is not involved at all you have to understand this okay so let's get back to the textbook and let's see if we can solve the sums using these formulae 